guys good to have you all back i hope you're up for some crafting today because i certainly am i have envelopes on my desk i love envelopes they are so very versatile if you into paper crafting junk journaling journal making scrapbooking whatever i think uh envelopes are a staple you, it's a necessity you need to have them now there are all sorts of envelopes out there believe me because i have most of them all sorts of uh, sizes and shapes um, with a window, without a window. I have some used ones, some vintage ones, some antique ones and some just some new ones, some plain ones. Um, today I'm going to use the most, I believe this is the most common envelope that probably everyone all over the world has access to. Well, at least in the Netherlands, these are the most plain ones. They measure four and a half by six and a half inches. It's just a normal one with a flap. I do love these. I've, of course, I found a box of these thrifting. Yeah, I believe I have 250 of them in a box or maybe even more. I don't know. It's an endless supply of these envelopes. I do like them. I think they're a little bit older uh, because of the, the print on the inside. Love this. Love this. And you can lick it. Don't lick it. So I'm going to use very basic common envelopes now if you don't have this size your size is a little bit smaller or bigger no worries if yours has a window great doesn't really matter just have an envelope any envelope i am however using a newer one which means a an unused one because i want to ut utilize the flap now if you have used envelopes you it's probably cut at the at the top or ripped or what have you so i am using unused envelopes today yes what am i going to do with them well i'm going to make them look pretty <laughs> that's what i want to do i think i want to make them look uh, like vintage or antique used a little bit grungy lovely decorated so that's what i want to do with these envelopes um and what am i going to use them for well you can use them as an envelope really yes you can put a stamp on it an address and then send it out in snail mail or with a birthday card or or what have you. Um, I'll probably use them in uh, journals. Now let me show you how I would use them in journal uh, journals. And this is going to be the very sort of basic idea. Let me get uh, a blank uh, page somewhere. Uh, this one. Yeah. Let's say you have a lovely decorated envelope. Also decorate here. Uh, everywhere. And then I'll probably put some glue on. And glue this. There we go. On the back of a page yeah and then you have a flip out pocket thing this is the most very basic thing you can use an envelope uh, for in a journal and i do this a lot it's like an extra page uh, in your journal an extra pocket and it's just lovely it's just lovely um what you could do is put glue all over just glue it on yeah or put glue here so you have a, uh, a sort of a pocket on the top. You can put uh, glue here and then have two sort of tuck spots or just put glue here and have a bigger tuck spot if you, if you want to, guys. Um, I don't, I'm not going to glue them in because uh, I don't know when I'm going to use them in what journal and in what way. So I'm just going to make pretty, pretty envelopes. Yes, that you can use for anything. Now... Um, for the supplies, I have some new toys to play with that I really want to show you. Uh, and I'm going to take out lots of inks and bits and bobs for decorating. Let me get some lovely surprise. Su supplies, not surprise. Well, it's going to be surprise anyway. Let me get some lovely supplies and show you what I'm using today. I will show you my new toys first. Love this. This is 49 and Market. Um, Rub-ons. Because, you know, I like rub-ons. Especially from 49 Market. Um, Stitching Essentials 01 Rub-on Transfers. Yeah. It is actually stitching. It is what it says. Stitching Essentials. I have a sewing machine. Never use it. I love it um, when people use uh, their sewing machines uh, on their projects. I simply cannot. I have tried and tried. And mine is even more rubbish than that this looks um but i can use this now so i am very very happy i have this there are also i know there are some stamps that do this i do have some somewhere 
um but i think this will look even more realistic i i think so um so yeah i have these so i'm gonna use some of these i'm gonna use some of these and um also new from elizabeth craft designs esther esther glass uh put out a new collection love it love it love it now i am not a planner so most of the the things that she um designed are more for planners maker thingies i i just i adore them um but what i did want to use were the stencils Stenc I, I, they are great i'm gonna flip it over because you can see it uh, better this way look at this one my absolute favorite of course coffee splatter stamping stands <sighs> love it love you know i love this i have one from tim holtz i have one from gumia pan uh, and now i have one from um elizabeth craft designs look at this yes yes thank you thank you esther <laughs> thank you very much um lovely for some background the alphabet you cannot go wrong with this um and then some sort of floral stuff i think i think this is a very good deal uh, there are six of them. I don't know the price, but the price is sort of reasonable for six stencils. Very versatile that you can use for anything, anything. Um, I, in my opinion, if you do not have any stencils yet and you want to invest in them and you're like, you like uh, crafting in my style, this is absolutely the one to have. Because you have numbers, you have letters, you have some background stamping, you have some floral, and you have this. If I look at the rest of the stencils that I have in my collection, it's basically this and then several ones. So, Esther, really proud of you. Love these. Highly recommend. But we're going to test them out. Let's test them out first <laughs> before I'm going to send you all uh, to the shop or the online um website to order them but i love them i love them so these are my new toys i'm going to age these up now guys if you want to do this very, very quickly coffee dye them tea dye them. this is one uh, one of the envelopes that i did a couple of years ago when i did some coffee and tea dyeing i personally don't enjoy the process i know right it's weird but i i just don't like i just don't like it it's a lot of work it's messy and uh if you don't wear gloves it dries out my hands and i just don't like coffee dyeing uh so i have some other people do it for me <laughs> most of the time uh but you can coffee dye it and then start stamping and such i'm not going to coffee dye i'm going to be aging it up with inks yeah i have some distress oxide uh i'm using old paper antique linen and tea dye oh there's no sticker on here uh and a little bit of vintage photo for some stenciling and such so i'm going to be aging them up i'm going to use brushes brushes to do this now i want to do some stamping of course i'm going to do some stamping so i have uh well correspondence from mr tim holtz it's perfect for this project if you want to make them look like a real envelope you don't need to lovies no Put a mushroom on, piece of paper behind it, post stamps, and, and done. Bob's your uncle. Um, probably going to use um, this because it says sign here or sign or something. Um, this is from Spellbinders. The Cathy Holden collection. And I cannot find the name. It has a name. It has a name. Probably called sign here or something. Oh, sign here. See? Yes. And the other one is reading matter. So I'm probably going to use these two. I will use stamp because I want to make them look like a real envelope. I will do decorating, guys. Probably a label on it where you can put an address on. But also I want a focal point. I might even use another mushroom because I'm really into mushrooms at the moment. But, you know, you can do anything. Uh, and some scrap pieces of paper. Yeah. So bits and bobs, some inking, some stenciling, some stamping. Just having fun being creative with a regular envelope okay is that it yes let's start crafting because i've been babbling for way too long let's start crafting guys get out an envelope get out your inks or or maybe have this one a coffee dyed one then get that one my envelope i'm going to start with the tea dye i'm going to start with tea dye i'm just gonna sort of do this all around yes very exciting right yeah that's okay. Just gonna try to age it up, and I'm going to use a couple of different colors on here. 
to create some shadow effect. Oh, you know. Let's just, you know, be adventurous and use a couple of different colors. So, starting out with tea dye. Don't forget to do the backs as well, love. There you go. Yeah. And a little bit of antique linen, linen I guess. And a tiny bit of the old paper, because we may want to make it look like old paper. Yeah. Okay. Are you using the same brush? Of course I am. Of course I am. That's that's quite all right, lovies. Yeah. Sort of the same color range. See, this is a little bit more yellowish. That was a little bit heavy-handed, but that's okay. Grunging it up. I think using different colors uh, just looks nicer. Yeah, how about the old paper? I take out a smaller brush for this one. It's a little bit greenish. Come back, there we go. Perfect. See? Grunchy. Grunchy. Also, my hands. Grunchy. Perfect. Um, I will also do the edges with a little bit dark color. I'm going to take vintage photo. Just going to do, see, some of those edges. What I like to do is sort of Put a little bit more on the corners. It's a thing that I really like. Oh, that worked. There we go. A little bit more. Yes, and also on the back. Now, if you don't have a lovely inside like this one, you could line it, guys. I have seen so many um, beautiful projects with envelopes. Just put a lovely piece of paper in. Yes, cut it to size, just glue it in, and it will transform your um, envelope completely. I have seen um, one on Pinterest that I really, really liked. What did they do? They, they put in a piece of a cartoon, of like, uh, you know, a cartoon page. That was so cool, like uh, a comic book, like a Marvel comic book or or whatever you want. It looked really, really, really cool. Yes, that it? That is it. Now this is going to be glued down, so I don't need to ink this. I am, however, going to ink this. Because this you will probably see. Righty then. I'm gonna wash my hands. All grunged up. Yeah. Well, that oh no, we need to do this as well. I'm sorry, loves. You're gonna see this. We need to do this as well. You missed the spot. What spot? The whole bit here. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Done inking. Let's do some decorating. For some stenciling, I'm I've taken out my two favorites. Well, I think these are going to be my favorite. Of course, this. I love this. And the numbers. Look at the big seven. I am so happy, Esther. You made the seven really, really big. <laughs> because, you know, sort of my name. Sort of my name. Um, I'm going to do this here. I'm not going to have this in a very dark color. So I'm thinking just do it with tea dye. see what this looks like well it's probably gonna look amazing mm. 
knew it. <laughs> I just love it. Somebody put this coffee on there. Um, and let's have some here on the bottom as well. Even taking this bit here. Why not? I'm just doing all of this. It's amazing. I really like it. So far, I really like them. Also, uh, sturdy. Yeah. Good quality. Good quality. Um, for this, I'm going to put a 7 on. Why? Because it's basically my name. What are you doing, love? Daisy is behind me. She wants to do some shenanigans. I know. Don't do it. <laughs> she wants some treats. She's in for some treats today. She already had some, but she wants some more. And now she's making me get off of my desk and getting her some more treats. In a second, love. Okay, I'm going to do the seven with the old paper. Oh, I love the this one as well. Seven and... I think this is going to look awesome. And it is. So cool, right? So, so cool. Oh, I already love it. Already love it. Yeah. Do we need a... I'm gonna, I want to do a little bit of florals. Just a tiny bit here. I wasn't going to use the florals. I was like... <laughs> I'm like, what are these dots? These are sort of the dots, the, the circles that you put them in the, a binder or plant. <laughs> I was like... That doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not supposed to be the stencil part, love. Oh. Esther, yes. Yeah. Oh, I can already tell you the answer, guys. Do we need it? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Clean your stencils, guys. Yes, put them under water and let them dry. Just clean your stencils. Believe me, you'll be happy. Okay, uh, well, that's it for the stenciling. It's You could be done, right? It's already lovely, but I want to do some more decorating. For decorating, I've taken out my uh, small boxes with lovely small pieces of scraps. And things that I absolutely love. And some uh, poster stamps. I found this one. This is from Belgium. It is from 1985. It has a beautiful lady on here. It says 1935 uh, and 1985. I don't know who this is. Or if the lady only lived until 1985. Or she reigned from 1935. I don't, I don't know. But it's a beautiful one. And I think it's going to be lovely. So I think I want to use this one. Um, I want to have some behind here, and this is a piece of handwritten ledger. See, already lovely. Shall we use a piece of this? Well, I would like to have a piece with a number on. Yeah, just over there. I think it needs a bit more color. I do love the sort of all neutrals, but let's add a little a little bit of color. Don't know from where, but you know, let's just see. Even this looks lovely. What is this? Oh, you stamped something. Need to make a small collage here. Oh yeah, I think so. Just very simple collage. You need one more thing here. One more. Do we have one more? Oh, that's part of a stamp. I'm not gonna use this. Oh, um, oh, I have some of these rub-ons. Do I want this? I think so. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Some scissors, please. Just the tiniest piece of, uh, well, this here. Yeah? Oh, already love it. Already love it. Uh, we need glue. We need glue. 
going to start with this one. Come on, Art. I cleaned you out yesterday. Put you in hot water. You were fine then. What is going on? You're not making me happy. Come on, you're supposed to make me happy. There, there you go. See? Yeah. It's not that hard, love. No. Okay, I'm going to put on this here. And then this strippy here. And there we go. Yes. Before I put this one on, not upside down. Let's just have it the right side up. I'm going to put this circle thingy underneath just for a little bit of color. Like so. Yep. Oh, I love my little boxes. I have a big box of scraps, like the bigger pieces, but here I keep my just interesting pieces of paper in. And this was gonna go here, right? Yeah, but, but I do not want to cover up her beautiful head, of course. There you go, here and here. Yeah. from a stamp I don't even know if I own this stamp or somebody sent it to me in happy mail, happy mail I don't know it's a cute one and then um, a cute little robin on the bottom these are not from a brand guys this is something that I bought on Aliexpress ages ago ages ago I'm going to use my favorite method, which is pencil. <laughs> yep. Cute little collage here. Yeah. I need a label here so you can put an address on. And I want to stamp some here and I want to stamp something here. Let's first do some stamping. I think I want to use this one. Um, sort of over here, but not in a very dark color. So I'm going to try out what the old paper would stamp like, if that is something. It's very faint. Maybe it's too faint. Is it? I'm going to test it out. Oh, on the back, just on the back, like over here. Let's just see, because we also, no, that's too faint. That's too faint, love. So let's do another one in um, vintage photo. Do one more here. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. That's what we want. So I'm gonna stamp it there. Oh yeah, it makes all the difference. Absolutely love it. I'm going to use the robots, guys. I'm gonna. I'll probably put a strip. On the bottom, like it's been sewn there. I don't know. Most likely. Um, what else do we have here? That is very lovely. There are even some, some stamps on here that I haven't even used once. Like this one that says via airmail. I'm thinking I want to use that one. Please let go. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna use the same color? I think so. There you go. Did not test this one out yet, but it's Mr. Tim Holt, so I know we're good. I know we're good. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. Um one more here, smaller one. It's 
smaller one. Handle with care. Yep. Handle with care. Maybe one more of these on the bottom there. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Now, for a label, um, I, you know, I have lots of labels. I have lots of labels. So I could take out some that are on my digitals or on somebody else's digitals. Um, but I also have this. This is a whole pile of sort of label kind of things that I have received over the years in Happy Mail or something. Probably these are all from AliExpress. I'm not going to link any AliExpress guys, but you know, probably there's something on here that I can use or or some of these you can also find in subscription boxes like you know, the subscription boxes that are out there. Let's just see. like this this is a little bit too blue do we not have something like with a greenish color oh that is also lovely i never use these guys i never ever use these no i need they need to be bigger a little bit bigger grass plant okay i like this one i like this one what else cool right yes never use it never ever use it let's see The same one, oh, a couple of these. Something greenish. Oh, that is cool, it says card postal souvenir. I think we're gonna do that on the other side. Ooh, what's this? Is this is this something we like in green? Or this. It will cover up your beautiful seven. I have so many. Pick one, love. Just pick one. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to do that one. Okay. I've used one. Yay. 750 more to go. <laughs> A little bit too bright. Okay, I'm gonna have this one on here. I am going to distress it first. Yeah. And uh, add a little bit behind here. Not a sort of scrap piece. Sort of behind here. Like what? Well, you have boxes full, so you'll probably find something. Like a tomato. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. No, I'm not going to put a tomato there. Um, ooh, what's this? Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, I do want to sort of rip it a little bit more. I'm going to rip through the signature. It is what it is. Yep, here and here with the numbers and the signature. You know I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna cover up the seven. But that's okay, we know it's there. We know it's there. It needs a thingy. No, no mushrooms to take off. I don't know what it is, guys. I am just very, very heavy into mushrooms. Oh. Is that too black? That's a little bit too dark. A little bit too dark. We have more. Of course we have more. No. Or maybe a stamp. Could do a stamp as well. Ooh. 
Oh, what is? It's an advertisement piece from a very old magazine, probably. Oh, yeah. I am covering up the complete number seven. Well, it looked lovely when it was on there. Yes. It's going to go here. It's going to go there. And here, yeah. So we're using the old and the new. Oh, I already think it's lovely. It needs something here. I'm going to stamp something. What are you going to stamp? Um, num, num, num. Special delivery or just the arrow? Oh yes, just the arrow will do. Yep. Oh yeah, no. Hello, stitching. Hello, stitching. Let's do some of this. Seriously, I almost forgot and I am so happy. So happy with these. Uh, they're all lovely. I'm just gonna, I'm go just gonna go from the bottom. I'm just gonna cut this one off. Careful, love, careful. Already know I'm gonna need more of these. And let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna put the whole thing on. I'm just gonna do this. Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna have this one here and maybe a little piece on the top or. Or here. Oh, yeah, I was thinking, guys, I'm going to put this one there. Yeah, that's going to be on the other side. And then with some and then with some stitching. Yes. Very happy. Let's see if this um, is as fantastic as I'm hoping it is, it'll be. Uh, let's just see. Do you want on the bottom? Yep. Again, I'm just doing the pencil method. Why not? I have the tiniest little ends on my desk. Well, uh, absolutely everywhere now. See the, the smallest one. So they don't bother me, guys. As long as they're not on my foot or in my bed, I'm okay with it. Uh, but um, my studio is our conservatory. So it is linked to our garden. And well, they I do have like these screen doors. Yes. But these ends are so tiny. They can walk through the screen doors. So I have a couple of ants here. Mm, it is what it is. It's nature. As long as they're not like bigger animals, spiders and mosquitoes. Because I am allergic to mosquitoes. And wasps, and bees and such. And we have the prettiest dragonflies. Big, they're so, well, um, they're the biggest I've ever seen. They're like... I'm not kidding. They're like five inches big, at least. Big ones. They're like helicopters flying over. I love them. Well, I don't need to have them inside of the house, but outside. I really like them. Let's see. Did this work? Are we happy with this? Do I need to buy more? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it looks so realistic. Look, guys. Yeah, I need to buy more. I need to buy more. Now, the the question is, if I'm going to flip it, this is going to be on this side. Do I want to have it this way? Or this way? I'm going to have it this way. Yeah. Already inked it. Now, because I put um, lots of decorating on here and at the, the spot where the normal sort of poster stamp should be to send it out, I cannot send this out anymore in mail. Yeah, because 
this is not a valid poster <laughs> stamp. Uh, but that's okay. I'm going to use it in um, in a journal. Some someday in some journal somewhere. Yeah, I have to. Oh, I like them so much. But guys, if you have a sewing machine and you know how to use it, use your sewing machine. Just do some stitching. Do some stitching. Why not? I'm not jealous at all. I even have two sewing machines now. Yes, because guess what? I have my mom's one. <laughs> my dad's not going to do anything with it. He's like, well, it's yours. So well, thank you. I should get some lessons, right? Maybe I will. I'll get some sewing lessons. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. That is pretty. Needs one stamp. One more stamp. Something with numbers. Yes, something with numbers. Yes. Just a little bit there. Yeah? Okay. We have one more spot to decorate. I am not going to heavy decorate this. I think, I think what I want to do, because we covered up the complete number seven, which actually is making me a little bit sad. <laughs> uh, where you are, seven? I think I'm going to put uh, the seven back on here. Yeah. See? Because I really, really like this one. Maybe you should close up your glue, love. Otherwise, you need to unclog it again. There you go. What did we use? Old paper, right? Yeah. I'm going to use old paper for this. I really love this sign as well. And seven and... Do we want another number? Two. I'm going to put on a two. I need a smaller brush for this. But I'll make two. Great. A little bit of the three. I don't mind. And um, I actually really do love these. The flower. The floral one. Yeah. Or um, maybe. Maybe one more of this. Of course. Of course I need one more of this. Some splatters. Um, for this I need. Vintage photo. Ooh. I did not use vintage photo on. No, I did tea dye. Well, that's that's black. Some black coffee. <laughs> it's way darker than all the other ones. But for the other ones, I I used tea dye. Well, you know, there's tea on the front, coffee on the back. <laughs> it is it is what it is. Let's have another spot. Um, yeah, yeah. That's oh. okay. No, I don't. I don't need any more of the florals on here now. Just one small little label. One small little label. Um, do I have anything at hand? No. Michelle. Michelle, where are you? Michelle, give me a label. Just one will do. There you go. Not even gonna think about it. I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, great. There we go. Yep. See? It's gonna go on a journal page. It, oh, it's going to be sideways, but that's okay. Um, and when you open it up, this is going to be upside down. Yeah, that's fantastic. So you need to have it on another page. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yes, well, take that in con into consideration. This needs to be on a page on the left-hand side. Yeah? Otherwise, it will be upside down. Well, that's okay. Fantastic. Love it. Guys, I think we're almost finished. I'm just missing something here. So, I was thinking to put this stamp here. Number of a stamp. And then... US Airmail Service there. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Uh, finish photo. There's one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. I, I understand completely. We are... Yes, we are missing some numbers. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Do we want... Something here? Do you... Do you love... Are you sure... There's so many already so so much here. Okay, one more then. Yes. Don't touch it. Stop. Stop messing with it, love. Stop messing with it. Yeah. That's it. Guys, uh I just made one. I'm sorry, I just made one, but I really like it. Let me show you the end result. Well, we started out with this lovely envelope, yeah, and we made this beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. And it's so much fun to do, guys. Yeah, I just love it. And you can do it in any style that you want. I just wanted to use this lovely lady on here. Look at the stitching. Yeah, it looks older, right? Yeah, it looks, it looks cute. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and then yeah, put something in. As I mentioned, let me get my uh, journal out again. Um, you know, we need to find another page. <laughs> it needs to be on a different side of a page. Yes. So, see? That looks... Oh, I'm probably going to have it in here because that looks amazing. Uh, glue it here. Then you have like a tuck spot here. I would put some glue there, guys. Just, you know, a strip of glue. Uh, glue it in the middle. So you can have a tuck here and here. Or just glue the whole thing on. And then you have this on the other side. And that looks lovely. Yes, you flip it open. This is not upside down. It would be if you put it on that page. Um, and have, you know, a card in here and a journal on here or, or what have you. It's just, it looks amazing. I just really like it. And it's the perfect size for this journal as well. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Loved it. Loved it. Guys, I'm going to show you again uh, my new toys that I've used that I'm really, really happy with. Um... First off, the rub-ons. If you have a sewing machine, you don't need this. Uh, if you have the rub-on, the um, stitching stamps, I have them somewhere. I, you know, hardly ever use them. Uh, you also don't need this. But if you have neither of them, <laughs> they are amazing. They're really realistic, and um, I really like how they look. I'm, uh, you know, you know, I'm already really happy, really pleased with. Um, the 49er market rub-ons and this is just a perfect addition but the problem is i need to buy more because i love them so much then for the, the stencils big yes big big yes yeah i think mr tim holes couldn't do this any better than esther did so i'm really really happy they are you know you can put them in, probably in a planner i don't have any of those i will though because now i just i just want one to keep these stencils in and i'm also going to have a, a look into it because they have more of these stencil sets yeah because it says planner stencils four so that's probably a one two and a three the number is S049 Plan Essential Stencils 4. Now, guys, I'm linking everything below. Everything uh, is, of course, available at Duiding. If you're uh, within the EU, you can order there. Um, 14 on the market is available all over the world, I guess. Uh, and also, Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, if you're not in the EU, you can visit elizabethcraftdesigns.com. 
yeah you can order there i don't really know how much these were i think about 15 or 16 euros four 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 and six i just i love them love them love them love them okay guys that's it for today um i will be back probably again on wednesday i think i have figured out sort of a new schedule for me i'm probably going to post for the meantime uh i don't know for how long on mondays wednesdays and fridays yeah maybe i'm gonna do something on a sunday uh, and the videos on sundays will not be crafty videos but uh, a lovely haul or or something else something else something craft related but um not a craft along with me so mondays wednesdays fridays um until i get the hang of it again everything has sort of settled down then we're gonna do more a week yes i'm doing okay guys just in case you're wondering i'm i'm i am very surprised at how i am doing i have bad days i have good days but i have more good days so yes especially when i'm crafting that's it uh, for today guys i'm hoping to see you uh well wednesday on wednesday with another crafty video until then bye guys <laughs>